Hey everyone, and welcome to another Record Producer React video. Today we are listening to Iron Maiden, The Writing on the Wall, and I've been holding off listening to this track since it came out a few days ago, uh, six days ago, uh, just so I could get a, a genuine React video. Now, okay, a couple of people have made comments on the previous videos, and they seem to not understand what a React video is. This is just me listening to a track, thinking about stuff as we're going along. It doesn't have to be an in-depth critical analysis, it's just my first reactions. There is a reason why I'm stopping as well, for those of you who are getting frustrated. YouTube will not let me post a full, full-length React video. There's all sorts of complications that go on uh, to do with copyright, as I discussed in the last video. So if you're going to say that he's interrupting too much, then uh, it's literally because of the, the copyright uh, strikes that happen when you run a video. So uh, this is just me reacting, uh, thinking about mix, thinking about production and all that kind of stuff. I grew up on Iron Maiden. My favourite era is probably Seventh Son, um, uh, Somewhere in Time, Peace of Mind, all those kinds of things. Um, you know, uh, they've somewhat circled back to that a little bit, but um, uh, I've not really listened to them for a number of years that much, uh, but still still a big fan. So uh, let's see what the new record is like. Um, I've heard all sorts about it, uh, but let's, let's go for it. And I will be stopping uh, for copyright reasons so my video can be published. So just bear that in mind if you get frustrated. That's why. <laughs> Okay, so we've got this sort of long haul shimmer verb kind of thing. Is it? It's not actually shimmer verb, it's just like, oh, it might be shimmer verb on the acoustic guitar. Sounds like steel strung to me. Okay, we've got to stop for a bit. Um, bass drum sounded cool. Um, quite natural sounding, actually. Hi-hat mics. Sounds quite uh, toppy, that hi-hat mic. So there's a r another good point if you're recording drums, you know, with the hi-hat mics. Uh, you can get away with, with high-pass filtering a lot of that out, um, a lot of the low end out. Uh, which is obviously going to reduce your phase issues with your snare. Oh, there's a nice sort of weird timing thing going on. Kind of bluesy. Okay, normal Iron Maiden guitar sound. I'm sure that's a matter of record. I'm liking the acoustic. Those toms, again, lots of top end, uh, not much 500 hertz area, and then they're just in this huge big room. What you'll notice as well, you know, compared to a lot of metal records at the minute, um, is we're hearing a more natural sound. Um, very cool. I'm excited to see how this progresses. No idea what he said there. We can think about panning as well. We can think about the, the guitar positioning. Um, it seems like they're, they're doing the traditional Iron Maiden thing, the three guitar Iron Maiden thing, which I think is, is panning quite hard on two of them. You're doing all right, Bruce, for your age. Blimey. Um, you know, maybe not quite as cutting through as some of the previous records, um, but they're all cracking on a bit, and um, 
you know, there's a nice balance in this mix. I don't know who did the mix. I don't check this out before I do the React videos because I might know them. So I'm just doing a straight React video. Nice bell tones with the, uh, the bass, as usual. Kind of regular Iron Maiden type chorus. It's quite interesting. There's there's quite a lot of space in that snare sound. If you listen through, um, this is my initial reaction. I apologize. It is 30 degrees today. Um, super, super hot. Um, yeah, so <laughs> the, the snare, there's quite a lot of room in that sound and not a whole, uh, or, or, or overhead in that sound and not a massive amount of close mic sort of stuff compared to some other sort of metal records. You know, stuff that we've been listening to previously. The drums are quite quiet. Go on, Nico. Those um, bells on the, uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's a ride bell, uh, really, really tasty, punching through a lot. I'm going to say I like the sound more than Book of Souls. Uh, let's let's skip on a little bit to see if we can find some solos because obviously YouTube is going to um, block this video if I play the whole track. Dare I guess who plays which solo? I'm expecting three solos here. Maybe next solo. Oh no, a riff. Like a melody. That video is quite cool. I love those uh, harmonies that they do. Brilliant. Uh, we've got to stop for a moment. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Iron Maiden harmonies, just like fantastic. You can't beat them for. Okay, they're cheesy as hell, but you know, lovely. So, who's playing this solo? Is it Adrian? Tell me, tell me if you know who's playing which solo. It's not as mellow as a Dave, Dave solo, I don't think. Um, you know, the sort of the neck pickup thing. Let's skip along. I mean, those... Those guitars a guitar right over this side, really hard penned. Or that side to you. Some nice, nice sort of effects at the end. Okay, credits. Well, that was Iron Maiden, the writing on the wall. Obviously, I can't play it all on the YouTube video. Um, I liked it. Do you know what? I liked the sound more than I liked Book of Souls. Um, was that the last one? If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. Uh, really nice drum mix, actually. That could be used as a, a very good indicator of... Uh, it's almost the antithesis of the sort of drums that we've been listening to in, in, in other the other rock and metal tracks that I've, I've done so far. Um, cool. I'm going to listen to that again on my big speakers all the way through. Have a great day. I'll see you next Friday. Um, if if I was wrong in any of the things that I said, stick the complaints in the comments. If I was right, you know what to do. Um, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.